We're here in Parliament today because Manira Wilson, MP from Twickenham, is presenting a bill on PFAS and drinking water. To the 10 minute rule motion, Manira Wilson. Mr. Speaker, I beg to move that leave be given to bring in a bill to require the Chief Inspector of Drinking Water to issue guidance to water companies on poly and perfluorinated alkyl substances in drinking water and for connected purposes. Decreased fertility, thyroid disease, miscarriage, reduced sperm quality, cancer. What do all these conditions have in common? They have all been linked to the pervasive presence of PFAS per and polyfluoroalkyl substances, better known as forever chemicals. Once they get into our environment and into our drinking water, PFAS can easily build up in our bodies. They can enter our bloodstream and even be passed on to our children through breast milk. At the moment, there's no statutory standards for PFAS in drinking water in England and Wales. And this is falling behind the regulations in the EU and in the United States, and even Scotland, who follows the EU rules. So this bill would raise the guidance for PFAS in drinking water to a statutory level, which would allow regulators to hold water companies to account for really enforcing and sticking to these rules. I want to thank the organisations who have supported me with this bill and have long championed the cause well before I became aware of it, including the Royal Society of Chemistry, <coughs> UK Chem Trust, the Wildlife and Countryside Link and the Marine Conservation Society. They and many others are dedicated to ensuring that we have a country where we can safely enjoy nature and preserve people's health for generations to come. Because ultimately, Mr Speaker, this is not only about us, but it's about our children and our children's children. There is no better legacy we can pass on to them to, than to safeguard their health as best we can. And this bill would be a significant step towards achieving this. Thank you. The question is that the Honourable Member have leave to bring in the bill. As many of that opinion say aye. aye. But the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. We were really pleased that this bill has cross-party support. And this is so important because, to be honest, this is an apolitical issue. This is an issue about people's health and health of the environment. This private member's bill is an excellent first step to raise awareness of this issue and make it actually be on the parliamentary agenda. And we're hoping that even if this doesn't get taken forward, the government will be able to see how important this issue is and take these provisions and adopt them into their other legislation, such as the Water Special Measures Bill that they're debating at the moment, or potentially some of their future legislation that they're planning to continue to tighten up the regulations on the water sector.